This is the 208 in one. It's this cheap little DS multi cart that I've actually talked about quite a few times on this channel over the past four or five years. In fact, I feel like I'm one of the only people on YouTube who's actually talked about this thing in a serious manner where I'm not making a joking review like, oh, is this cheap thing from China going to work? No, it works. It doesn't have a time bomb. And quite honestly, I think you're better off with one of these than buying some fake R4 card off of AliExpress and not knowing what you're going to get. So recently, I've gotten into doing a lot of other things with this that I didn't realize it could do, mostly because the 208 and one is pretty poorly documented online, in part because it has a terrible name. So a couple of years ago, I figured out that, yeah, this is an Ace. 3DS cartridge. It's, it's a flash cart and essentially there's a newer updated firmware available for it and I made a video talking about how I updated the firmware and then I was able to play GBA games on this thing for the first time which it wasn't able to do right out of the box. And of course in order to do that I just had to take the SD card out of this thing that looks just like any other DS cartridge take out the SD card, plop it in my computer, update the files, and boom, I was on my way to be able, able to load GBA games. But I recently figured out there's a few more things you can even do on top of that once you have the firmware on this updated. Like for instance, I found out that you could install Twilight Menu on this thing, which is really great for adding just a bunch of additional features that aren't on the built-in firmware. So you got the built-in firmware that you've updated and then you throw Twilight Menu on top of that. And then I made use of some of these Twilight Menu features to do things like auto boot straight into my last played game, which is why I can click on something that looks like it's SpongeBob because that's what the flash cart always appears in my menu as. And it actually will boot straight into Platinum so that was the last played game that I played on here. Now, alternatively, I could hold down the B button and it would just bring me straight into Twilight Menu. So it's a time-saving thing. You don't have to jump through this additional menu. It's just straight from the DS menu into your last played game unless you need to pick out a different game. You can also add a cheat database in Twilight Menu, which is awesome, especially if you're playing these older Pokemon games. There's cheats to speed it up, you know, unlock the FPS, things like that. Even on, you know, a regular DS, not even a 3DS, you can do those kinds of things. And then, of course, you can still play GBA games and games from other older consoles on this as well. Overall, the DS is a really versatile emulation machine for something that you can buy for easily less than $50 on the secondhand market. And then plop these files on the SD card of this, say, 20-ish dollar flash cart, and you're on your way. Obviously, there are less expensive emulation solutions. You know, if you really just want to play GBA and Game Boy Color, things like that, I would recommend the MiU Mini as a less expensive alternative and something you wouldn't have to buy secondhand. But you, while you can technically play DS games on the MiU Mini, and I personally do it periodically, it's kind of nice to have the feature available, I do find these games to be just easier to play when you actually have a device that has two screens. And that's going to be the actual DS. So I want to show you guys how I got this set up because there is very poor documentation for the 208 and one online. And I might be the first person to kind of tie this whole process together in a video for you. All three of the downloads you need are going to be linked down in the description. But here's the SD card with just the new firmware on. And there's three files from the Twilight Menu folder that you're going to download that you're just going to need to copy over to the root of your SD card. Then you want to go back to the auto boot folder that came in the Twilight menu that you downloaded and just copy over the Ace 3DS Plus folder that you see in there onto the root of your SD card. And then if you want to add the cheat database, you just need to go to the NDS folder, Twilight menu, extras, and then just drop that cheat database file that you got from the description in there as well. And at this point, I recommend you take the SD card out, put it back in your flash cartridge, boot your DS, and you'll see Twilight Menu boot. But if you want Twilight Menu to actually auto-boot into the last played game like I had set up, then I recommend you take your SD card out, put it back into your computer, go to the NDS, and then Twilight Menu folder, and find the Settings INI folder, right-click on it, edit it with your notepad, and then just change these two things to one. And honestly, that's all there is to it. So if you've been thinking about playing some DS games, and you want to play them like properly with two screens on actual hardware, this is the cheapest and probably easiest way to get it set up, especially if you don't have a DSi that has the SD card slot. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Bailey, and I will see you in the next video.